Oh, what's this? Looks like Big Phil's been here again. Ah. Another present from my friend Philip. An Ellswick Super Sprint. Looks like an elderly five speed. Let's get it inside. Ellswick Hopper is the manufacturer. The, uh, it was actually founded in 1880 by Frank Hopper. And I think at some stage it was bought over by Mr. Ellswick. And uh, it eventually became, would you believe, Falcon Cycles, the same as my flying banana bike over there in the corner. Let's take a quick run round and we'll see what all we need. Um, this one is obviously quite elderly. I have no idea exactly what year it would be. But um, it's fairly rusty. Rusty but not. Everything seems to be there, you know. That's which is the good thing. The tires once again don't look terribly bad. They're both of them are obviously flat. The wheel rims are incredibly rusty. Those handlebars are at a jaunty angle, I think they should be down a bit because the brakes shouldn't be up there. I'll get those adjusted. As far as I can see, it's a five speed. Just the, yep. Single gear at the front. Ellswick Super Sprint. I'll have to Google this and see what sort of age it is. It's, it could be the 70s. There's old style pedals. This is all very rusty, but that'll, that'll all clean up. Not back to brand new, obviously, but... More rusty rims and flat tyres. Very rusty mudguard. That reflector. Doesn't... Well, it might be original. Judging by the wee fitting here, it looks like it is and that seems to be the same age as that so maybe it is h-u-r-e-t heret heret gears i'll google those as well ellswick brooks it's got this fancy brake arrangement here that's your front brake. Well, let's get to it. Uh, we'll start, as usual, with trying to inflate the two wheels. We may have another seized chain again, but sure, we're getting used to that now. Right, let's start with the chain. That's 
seized bit there. That's not going round the bend, just like the last time. I'll take the chain off the front sprocket. Give it a bit of extra play. Right, plenty now. Pretty, pretty solid. If I give it a wee drop of the, the old used petrol treatment and a train, try and wash things down a bit with that. Then round the, the back of the gears here now and the wheel. Getting this all cleaned up, it's looking quite good. That petrol's flipping stinking, yeah. There's a frame number B1504. Good old B1504. And mind the day she came off the production line. Pull the, I'm going to pull this back wheel out and maybe do a bit on the chrome with it out of the bag. We'll see, I just want to get it out and give it a, like a good look over and familiarise myself with taking the back wheel out. I don't think I have to. Completely remove the nuts, but that, that nut there is badly. There's been a few ill fitting spanners in that one in its time. Take the chain right off. Well, take it off as much as I can. Let's see how this is done. I, I, I literally forget how to get a wheel out of a bicycle. Uh, brake blocks, quick release mechanism we don't have. It's going to come out anyway. There we go. Let's see if we can get some of this rust off the edges to start with. Anyway. Decided to use the elderly Black and Decker. This is from about 1978, 79 type of thing. It'll see if the, the battery run out and we're cordless. Let's have a wee look at this. I'll try to drop a WD. See if it. Oh, yeah. That'll do the job. I'm going to see about trying to get a pedal off here. It's a long time since I've done this. I don't understand why these are metric. <laughs> I could have sworn these wouldn't have been metric. I think I'm going to have to hit that a dunt with a hammer. Yeah, seems to be having some sort of an effect. Is this a cotter pin you call this? Not entirely sure. Whatever it is. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, boy, yeah. What says me? Whatever it is, it's coming out. Yeah, it came out so far. I'll give it a splash. Let's give it a splash. WD. There we go. Now. Da, 
Aha, look, the whole thing comes off. Did you ever? Well, that's going to be a whole lot easier to clean now. That wee thing there is not right. That should be round a bit because that's rubbing against the frame. There, that needs to. Whoosh, that'll be an eight millimeter. I'll have to get that twisted round a wee here. There we get in there. Forged. This is made in USA. Five eighths. Let's see if we can get this pedal off. There you go. Ancient. Discovered this wee um, cover for the sprocket isn't straight. It's got bent up. That means far wider a gap there than here. First one came out okay. Try the second. Last one. Lovely. Number three. That's it. It's all over the place, so I'll have to get that flattened and straightened. And a bit more cleaning in this. Now we'll get some muck off the cover and then we'll get it polished up. Just whack this left hand pedal off. It's uh, phew, it's fairly it's fairly messy. But we'll get this cleaned up, we'll get the pedal thing cleaned up, give it a coat of lacquer as well. Right, I'm gonna try and slacken this nut here for the uh, the gear cable. Uh, it's been soaking in WD for a while. Uh, the whole thing's turning. I'll have to get it, get to grips with that somehow, which is not going to be easy without marking it. At last, that was tight. That was tight. What size did we eventually plump for? 516 Whitworth. I'll leave that up there then. This really is what you would call almost irretrievably done, but we'll clean it up as best we can. Strangely enough, that's actually coming out reasonably well. Isn't that weird? We'll continue on with this, looking good. I think we'll have a look at this back brake and mudguard assembly. Get it all taken off and cleaned up. There's various bits and pieces in it. I 
This is the mud guard coming up. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure. Well, we'll give it a bit of a rub and we'll find out. That'll clean up. Now the brake. Hmm. Ah. Happy days. That just slips out through that. And that little washer holds it all in the right position. We're back with the Williams again. The old brake blocks are fairly well worn. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to slacken these off. I'll take the brake blocks out, buff off the, the lip and turn them over the other way so we can get the most out of them. <laughs> you know me. Alright, try and slacken this off. It's 8mm. cable goes through the middle of the right okay well that's actually not so bad I think no maybe it isn't I'll get these wee nuts all cleaned up and the fitness as well Right, we'll go and get these cleaned up. I'm going to flatten this down and try it. If, if it doesn't work, I'll order new ones. So, I don't know if the uh, <laughs> if this will do it or not. We'll find out in a minute. Ah, I love the smell of burning rubber. Do that. Let's give this uh, brake caliper a bit of a clean. <laughs> Mind you, the petrol's not very clean. Oh Lord, it's bogging. It's like tar. There's a nice polished caliper now, we'll leave that to the side until we get the rest of the bits sorted out. Mudguard, I have decided that I'm just going to clean it to that extent and lacquer it. Uh, I'm not going to paint it, it has to have a, a patina, is that word again? I'm going to keep its original patina, just take the rust off it, give it a coat of lager. We'll go and hang it in the heat. The wee brake adjuster is quite rusty, so we'll give it a touch of the wire brush. I can't get it off because there's a ferrule on the end of the cable so to take it off you're going to risk the whole cable so I'm just not doing it. I'm going to take the saddle off. I was getting all excited. It was a Brooks saddle, only blipping plastic. But, not to worry, it has to come off anyway. Get this all cleaned up, the nuts and bolts are rusty, badly rusted. That'll clean up alright. Of 
Quite long, is that? There we go. Yeah, I'll get that all taken out and cleaned up. I had these sprayed with WD, so they shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, we're good. Strip the saddle as well. Stir me, Archer. Twenty five point eight millimeter, one point zero one six inch. England, there's a rare thing. Even the, the saddle made under license in Italy. A Brooks saddle, my goodness.